the third and the last of the isometric transformations are reflections. And I'm going to show you two. One where the object is completely on one side of the reflection line, and then we're going to do one where the object intersects the reflection line. It's a little bit different, but not much more difficult. To start off, the idea here is that you have to draw a point, a line, from each vertex, vertex A, B, and C, across to the reflection line and beyond, but it's got to meet perpendicularly at 90 degrees. So to do that, I place the 90 of the protractor on the reflection line, and then just slide the protractor up to each vertex. Okay, when I get to point A, I make sure that I'm still aligned. It often needs some adjusting. You draw the line to the reflection line and beyond. That is your perpendicular 90 degree line, and it goes beyond. I do the same thing for B. I have my 90 degrees on the reflection line. I slide the protractor up to point vertex B, make sure I'm still on the reflection line, draw the line across. When I'm going to point C though, notice I don't have much of my 90 on the reflection line, so here I, I flip it over so that my whole 90 degree line is on the reflection line, as you can see. And now I'm sliding the protractor down until I come to point C. I adjust to make sure that I'm still on the line, and I can now draw my line across and through all of the lines coming out of each vertex meet the reflection line at 90 degrees. Now I have to locate my new A prime, B prime, and C prime. A will be on this line. To get them to be exactly the same length, I put the compass on the reflection line where the lines intersect and measure to A, flip it across, and we got A prime. I label it. A prime. I do the same thing on the reflection line at point B, open the compass to point B, we're right there, and there's my B prime. I'm going to mark it clearly and label it B prime, and then I do the same thing from point C, compass in at the reflection line, open it up to point C, and there we've got our point C. The original again goes from A to B, B to C, C back to A. So I join this up the same way, A to B, B to C, and C back to A, and then you end up with a perfect reflection of what you started with. When your object goes through the reflection line, we label it the same way, A, B, and C, and we do this exactly the same, but Whatever side your vertex is on in the original, it has to be on the opposite side. So A and C are going to be on this side, B is going to be on the other side. I'm going to do it exactly the same way. I set my protractor with the 90 degree on the reflection line, slide them up to point A, and... Okay, you see I fell off a bit, so I have to readjust that. And I'm on point A, we double check, it's good. I draw the line to the reflection line and beyond. Go a little bit further, it doesn't matter. Now for point C, I'm on the 90. I'm gonna leave it like this, and that's good, that's good. I draw the line across, very good. Now for point B, it's on this side. It's gonna end up on that side because every point has to end up on the opposite side. I'm going to flip this over just because I feel more secure when I have more of my 90 on the reflection line. And I'm going to go down to point B. Now, the 90 lines up, and I'm on point B, and I'm drawing my line that way. It's going the opposite direction. I'm going to now locate point A. I jab the compass into the reflection line, open the point of the pencil to point A, and there's my A prime. I'm going to label it right away. My C, this is going to be my C. I open it up to C, and there on the opposite side of the reflection line from where the original C, I've got my C prime. And point B is the only one that's going to be on the opposite side because his original was on the other side. There's point B. There is my new 
be right there. And you notice that that is equal to that. That length would be equal to that length, and that is equal to that. We join this up the same way we did all the others, from A to B, B to C, C back to A. I go A to prime, A prime to B prime, B prime to C prime, and C prime to A prime, and we're done.